Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video I will be showcasing 9 different teams for you to very easily beat each variation against Kuzan in the new Kizuna. This time the colors are Int, Strength and Dex and of course 3 teams for each variation and at the same time each variation after level 30 gets additional mechanics. For Int, extra resilience is added and also bind to your right column units. For strength, chain condition attack down appears and also the special rewind is increased for each row. We do not exactly know by how much though. And for dex, every unit on the team gets paralysis. Every team in this video will be able to deal with every mechanic you will ever face in this Kizuna and some of the teams will also be using the new Kizuna Legend Drake for you to get more tickets but also have an easier time. I won't be using the new Zoro since I did not pull him and also have in mind that I am using the Ho as my ship in majority of the teams, of course for more EXP, but if you want to maximize your damage perhaps or gain other benefits, you can swap to whatever ship you want. If you enjoy these videos I would really appreciate a like and a subscription to the channel, but without further ado, let's move on to my teams and strategies against Kizuna Kuzan. The first team against the int variation will be using the Super Evolution of Zerma 66 with the new Kizuna Legend Drake as friend captain. For this team you need to have your bind remover, in this case Mugiwara 56 Luffy on the left column to avoid bind after level 30 and for you to be able to remove it you are also going to need maximum sockets. In stage number 2 we are going to encounter Q Caesar. He will inflict us with 5 turns of attack down, so activate your attack down remover, in this case Rockstar, to of course get rid of the debuff, and then attack Caesar ending on Drake, who has color advantage against everyone, to beat him. Something to have in mind in this team is that Mugiwara 56 Luffy is not double boosted, so start your attacking chains with him. In the final stage, after level 30, Zoro will come into play because of the extra resilience and of course Luffy and Sockets will also remove Bind, but for now activating Drake will give us an attack boost and chain boundaries, then activating Luffy will increase the start of the chain boundaries, and then Jinbe will give us a color affinity boost, specifically for two times because we are maximum health, and the Zerma unit will give us a full board of TNT slots and Nor boost, and their super type will also give us a boost in chain. Then attack to easily beat Kuzan. The next team will be using 6 plus Yamato along with Roger and is extremely strong. Of course with Yamato as captain the bind will be completely disregarded in the final stage whenever it appears, so you don't really need sockets or any specific bind remover. In stage number 1 we just proceed. And in stage number 2, because Robin is free to play and does not remove 5 turns of attack down, I am also using Pizarro who removes 4 to completely remove it, so 2 units for 1 debuff, but if you want you can replace one of them with a full 5 turn attack down remover and replace the other one with whatever helps you. With this unit combination though, Robin will give us adjacent matching slots and Pizarro will give himself an orb boost, making it very easy to beat Caesar in one turn. If you do not have Pizarro and you want to remove the full 5 turns of attack down by using Robin, you can attach Arena Franoske support on here and that will do the trick. After the preemptive activates in the final stage, you want to activate your Kizuna Rare Recruit Alvida first, who will completely remove resilience even after the extra turns are added and will give our free spirit units a color affinity boost. Then you want to activate Yamato's special to get guaranteed Ueno slots and increase your chain, but then also her super type to increase your chain even more. Earlier on it of course won't be necessary, but ending the attacking chain on Yamato will also activate her final tab ability. Then, as far as specials go, Low will give us an orb boost and chain boundaries, and Roger will give us a 3 times attack boost. Then attack and super easily beat Kuzan. The next and final team versus the int variation will be using double treasure map Mugiwara 56 Sanji, so we can actually get an orb boost and an attack boost from him, and then we are going to use 
for stage number 2, the trick I mentioned in the previous team, with free to play Sai Stroh at Robin and Arena Franoske support on her to completely remove attack down. Another benefit we get from having Robin on the team is that she allows our Sanji captains to gain access to their super type ability which helps with damage a lot. So in stage number 2, activate Robin for adjacent matching slots to reduce attack down and with Arena Franoske support it will be completely gone. And then if you want it is not necessary, you can activate one Treasure Map Sanji super type and then attack Caesar to super easily beat him. In the final stage now against Kuzan, it is important to activate your Sanji before Raizo so you get a higher orb boost. But first, we are going to activate Garp, who will give us a 3.25 chain lock, and then we are going to activate Boa Hancock, V2 super evolved Boa Hancock that is, to get a color affinity boost for everyone. Then comes Sanji for an orb boost, and Sanji again for an attack boost. Activating his super type will also increase both of these boosts and finally Raizo will give us end of turn damage to bypass resilience but also guaranteed matching slots. Then attack, beat Kuzan and the end of turn damage will get rid of him completely. The first team against the strength variation will be using ulti and page 1 as captains entering on page 1 and then the new Drake for a very easy time. We are entering on page 1 simply because in stage number 2 we want to swap to ulti and get chain boundaries to have an easier time against Doflamingo. I did not do this here but if you place treasure map queen under your friend captain Drake you will have a guaranteed matching slot on him in stage number 2. We want to activate queen anyways to remove the damage reduction completely. Swap to ulti for the chain boundaries, if you want activate Drake's super type ability and then also activate Don't Chin Zhao to get a chain boost and a higher chain boost in the following stage. Then attack the Flamingo to easily beat him. For the final stage in this variation, Drake is exceptionally good because he pretty much counters the whole stage on his own. Especially the special reverse is annoying, so having a Drake friend captain will make your life so much easier. What you want to do first after the preemptive and after you get your specials back is to activate Drake for an attack boost and chain boundaries on everyone of course. Then you want to activate Cracker for guaranteed matching slots and the 2 times color affinity boost and then pay very close attention, activate ulti before Moria to get the correct conditional attack boost and finally Moria for an orb boost. If you activated Moria first, he would give you a poison conditional attack boost and we do not want that. Then attack and easily beat Kuzan. The next team will be using the Kaido crew and again a Drake friend captain because he makes this stage so much easier. The next team won't use him though, so stay tuned for that if you cannot find friend captains. I prefer starting on Kaido because the super swap gets maxed out in stage 1, so we can swap to the Kaido crew in the next turn and also activate the super swap to do some damage to Doflamingo. It is not necessary but I think it is preferable. So in stage number 2, Sengoku comes first to remove the damage reduction and give us a bit of damage. Then activate Don Chin Zhao again, the free to play unit, to get a chain boost and a higher one in the final stage. Hody Jones for a full board of guaranteed matching slots and then attack boost. And finally super swap to the crew side of the unit to attack the Flamingo and beat him. For this team, have in mind that Komurasaki, even though she is a Q unit and technically has color advantage over Kuzan, she is not boosted by our captains at all, so start your chain with her always to do the maximum amount of damage possible. First up, we are going to activate Drake for an attack boost to everyone except Komurasaki and chain boundaries. Then comes the Q side of the Kaido crew for a 2.5 times color affinity boost and finally Komurasaki for an orb boost and guaranteed matching slots. After that you have lots of damage to easily take down Kuzan. 
The next and final team versus the strength variation will be using a little bit more of a complex strategy. Treasure Map Hyogoro is our captain for now, but of course, 6 plus Carrot will take over later, and our friend captain is V2 Super Type Kaido. It is important for this team to enter on Sanks from the Sanks crew, so you get a special cooldown reduction, because otherwise you won't and your run will be pretty much ruined. And you also want to make certain that you place the units this exact way for the special cooldown reductions to work in the final stage. In stage number 2 though, swap to the crew side and activate them to get a 3 turn chain lock, then activate Bobbin to remove the damage reduction, and then your friend Captain Kaido to almost defeat the Flamingo. Then just tap one unit to do so. For the final stage here, our bottom row units do not care about the special rewind of course, because we already used the specials. The same goes for Kaido, but he will activate his special automatically anyway, which does not matter. Now what you want to do, because Carrot completely is immune to special rewind, you will activate her first and she will be the captain while also giving you an orb boost. Carrot's 2 turn special cooldown reduction will give Hyogoro, but also Sobo Mask their specials back. Then activate Sobo Mask and Hyogoro. If later on you cannot activate Sobo Mask immediately, activate Hyogoro first and that will give Sobo Mask his special back because of his Sailor ability. Unfortunately, we cannot activate Soba twice for a higher attack boost, but we can activate Kaido's super type ability for more damage and to beat Kuzan without using Drake. The first team against the Dex variation will be using a Captain Sugar with a friend Captain Drake. Now Sugar here, even though she does not have color advantage, will help us a lot not only to increase damage, but to also evade paralysis because as you can see we do not have a paralysis reducer and that debuff will be added after level 30. Something else to note to increase damage a bit in the final stage, swap Morley and Luffy places in the middle row. Also, Sugar, Luffy and Carrot are not boosted by Drake, so when attacking Smoker, start the chain with them. In stage number 2 you want to activate Luffy who resists special bind to remove it from everyone, get a chain boost and matching slots on your bottom and top rows. Then attack ending on Drake of course who has color advantage to beat Smoker in one turn. In the final stage now every piece will complete the puzzle. First of all Luffy locked our slots in top and bottom rows to matching which is awesome and then our friend Captain Drake's super type can give us even more matching slots. Arena Drake's support though will give us a color affinity boost and I have it attached on Queen and then activating our friend Captain will get us an attack boost and an increasing chain lock. After that Kizuna Carrot will completely remove the defense up and Morley will completely remove the threshold while also reducing the defense of Kuzan. That will allow Queen to activate and give us a 2.25 conditional defense down attack boost which is awesome and then we will activate Sugar's special turning everyone into a toy bear which will help us avoid paralysis as well and then her super type will give us a universal orb boost. Tap Sugar and beat the quest. The next team will be using one of the best combinations for captain and friend captain against dex content in the game, in my opinion, V3 Sabo and V2 Snakeman. Sabo as captain or as a unit in this quest generally is extremely good because the final stage interrupts a color affinity boost and also orb manipulation, but both of our captains will help us to avoid using those specials in the final stage. What we want to do first is activate Marineford Luffy to remove Special Bind, get a Chain Boost and lock our slots. Then we want to activate V2 Snakeman for a full board of guaranteed matching slots and the Nord Boost. And then our other captain, Sabo, so if we hit the perfect required we can get a Color Affinity Boost but also a Chain Boost in the final stage. I would advise you to not use Snake Man's super type ability so you can actually hit the perfect required for Sabo's special and to not have tons of overkill damage. 
In the final stage now, we have guaranteed matching slots and we will also get a color affinity boost and a chain boost because of Sabo. So pretty much we are not going to activate any interruptions and we are going to beat Kuzan super easily. First up, activate Krieg so we can remove defense up, paralysis when it appears and also get an ore boost. Then activate Morley who will reduce the threshold completely, reduce the opponent's defense and also give us a conditional attack boost. Then activate free to play Kizuna Marco Ace to get a very high normal attack boost and finally activate Sabo's super type to increase our typing damage. Now it is time to attack of course and beat Kuzan. The final team against the dex variation and for the video will be using Legend Summer Vivi with a friend Captain Toki. Toki is extremely useful here because her super type will help us avoid using a color affinity special which of course will proc interruption. What you want to do in stage 1 is actually activate Toki and target 2 units whichever ones you want so you can very easily beat stage number 2. Toki's special can also be used in stage 2 to help us in stage 3 but it's really not necessary so might as well use it to beat Smoker. Vivi as a captain will free us from special bind, Toki will give us an attack boost and an ore boost and then activating Vivi will boost the ore boost and lock guaranteed matching slots on all of our units. Then attack Smoker ending of course on the Toki Toki state units to super easily defeat him in one turn. This time for the final stage we have a full board of guaranteed matching slots again because of Vivi and then getting a color affinity from a super type does not activate any interruptions so we are good to go. The first thing we are going to do here is activate Usohachi who will remove both the threshold and the defense up completely. Then we are going to activate Oden who will give us a full board of Ueno slots and an ore boost. Then Halloween Kizuna Rebecca will give us a conditional attack boost, a chain boost and of course defense down to the enemy. Vivi's super type will give us a 2 times attack boost and Toki's super type will give us a 2 times color affinity boost. Later on of course activating Chopper would also remove paralysis. Then attack and super easily beat Kuzan. And these are my 9 teams for you to beat the 3 variations in Kizuna vs Kuzan. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help out. If you enjoyed this video and as always, if it helped you, do not forget to leave a like, I would really appreciate it and it helps out the channel and of course, subscribe for more One Piece Treasure Cruise content. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.